this is not definition. And I ask for that assertion, that means definition should be that. What is the definition? For valuation, accuracy, valuation, and location. Definition in between you put KJ and you put in the year X. So there's only one set of answers. Miss, this one is, uh, in this talk only have one group of answer. I think the other group also have prepared their answer. Ah, uh, so can you combine here so that I can look? That means got two different answer from your tutorial group, right? Yes. Ah, uh, so can I have done have a look at the other group's answer? Is I already posted? Hmm? I already posted in the chat box. Can I assess? Arun. Ah, yes. Okay, accuracy. I no need to write. This is not the definite. I mean, this is not what is expected from me. Can you copy the definition from the lecture notes? Someone copy and post to this, uh, this is the one I don't know. What is the definition for all the assertions? All this not related. Someone quickly post all the definition here. Boy, I never asked you to type, huh? I asked you to copy paste. Go to my lecture on the revision or the week one lecture notes, copy paste. Someone please give access to Zihong Lim. I told you guys many times, right? Before tutorial, share the file with everybody.
Oh, Aaron, copy paste from chat box. I only select those assertions related to the question. Huh? You don't need procedures. Presentation existence. I think uh, I better do for you a template whereby you just copy paste so that everybody can score 10 over 10 for that part. Because that is one of the easiest part, you know. Completeness, accuracy. Hey, this is SOPL, transaction, all this SOPL. Um, hey, got only four, man, definition. You see, existence, rights, obligation, completeness, accuracy, mana lagi? Janwe? Uh, yet. Yeah. Ah, the one you copy is for transaction. I'm looking for SOFP. Uh, let me look for. After completeness, accuracy, Samo. You only have one, two, three. Cut off. What? Four, Classification. Where, where? where? Mana, mana? Tada phone, oh, copy rates. I, I think I got copy all, all the things. Tada uh, lah. Where got? I post on the checkbox. I don't yeah, have Yeah, but that one is for transaction. Transaction is account balance. A transaction is oh. SOFPL. I'm looking at SOFP.
rights and obligation the company name the right to the right name of the tool over the I'm trying to figure out, I'm doing that, you think you can see, right? So I'm figuring out a way where everybody will be able to score 10 over 10. At least the minimum mark, you must score 10 over 60. But easily, yeah, to be honest, you can score 45 over 60 for the possible test. Because this morning I have discussed all the uh, answers in detail. Okay, based on this, okay, let us try first. Huh? Uh, I will put this under the notes, under the lecture notes, the sections, the sections of answering template, answering 
technique. Okay, let's try. Uh, based on this, okay, whoever supposed to do this, you go and edit. You see here or not all these FS item, company name, name of ledger. So basically, you go and fill in the blanks. Don't cut out this. Don't cut out this. You go and here. So the one I have highlighted here is my copy. So this one don't cut out. So whoever is doing the answer, you go and re-edit your answer, fill in the box and let's see whether you can do it right. So meanwhile, we move to the next question. Describe the substantive procedure you would perform to obtain sufficient appropriate audit evidence in relation to the above. So the above just now is uh, um, related to the revaluation, right? So the procedure that can be taken by inspecting document to support accounting transaction, this is not a procedure at all. This is not a procedure at all. Huh? This is wrong really. So let's look at your uh, another student's answer. Huh? Audit procedures, right? And you no need to write the search straight away, right? Procedure. All this wasting time. Not only wasting time, you are actually making, creating trouble in your answer. Right? Uh, straight away, right? Answer. Review KJS Nan Berhad company name in title, deeds, land registry certificate, and lease agreement to confirm rights to control the land and buildings. Land and buildings which are recorded in the non-current asset or we want to use fixed asset register. So you must show where did they record. Huh? You have your source document, this one, but what is the accounting record? Inspect physically inspect for the selected program. Huh? Okay. Inspect physically for a selected sample of land and building to ensure that land and buildings are in good condition. Financial land and buildings are in good condition and do exist. Agree the newly purchased buildings with the fixed asset register to ensure addition that have been occurred. So where, where is your source document accounting records? Fixed asset register is the source document. You are agreeing to where? Agree means there must be two, right? Either accounting document or source document. Accounting records or source document. This is accounting record. Agree to where? From where will you know um, what are the newly purchased buildings? Purchase uh, agreement. <laughs> Purchase agreement to ensure occur. So instead of agree, you can review the sales. You can review the sales and purchase agreement for the newly purchased buildings and agree the amount with the fixed asset register or, or you are looking at the dates, right? So review the dates on the sales and purchase agreement for the newly purchased buildings and agree with the fixed asset register to ensure that additions occurred in January 2021 have been recorded. Okay. Review the statement ISO FP of the revaluation amount. You see, ISO FP is a general, it's a statement, statement of finance, the balance sheet. Huh? How will you know what is the revalued amount? From where can you get the revalued amount in the ISO FP? And ensure compliance is, is applicable with the IS 16. So, what you can write it for sample of Oh, wait, wait, I don't understand. What, what is your point here? Can someone explain what do you mean here? What do you mean by here?
means I think is to check the amount in FOFP with the calculation of the revaluation amount. Then SOFP, there is no one single item, right? Revaluation does not appear in SOFP as a standalone item. Where can you find the revaluation? You tell me. Is it under non current asset, current liability? Is there a standalone item for revaluation amount? No. Then, where can you review this in the SOFP? Which item? No. Can't, be, can't, can't, in, can't review in the revaluation surplus. Uh. Revaluation surplus, there will be a lot of items. Revaluation surplus under the EPT is a one account for all the revaluate, revalued items. So how will you know which item belongs to which asset? Because your double entry is you will debit the PP if it's surplus and you will credit revaluation reserve, correct? Yes. So how will you know? Uh, refer to the notes to the furniture. But no, okay, first of all, what are you trying to do here? What are you trying to do? Uh, maybe just to check the amount in the SOFP. What amount? The non-current asset of the uh this this property this thing. What this 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 this, this building one? building? Put. Is it the land and buildings? Okay, what for land and building? See, I really don't understand. Carrying that. amount? Carrying amount? Their cost and depreciation, is it, Miss? Cost and depreciation? And then you wrote here revalued amount. Are you checking on the revaluation calculation figure? Are you looking at the how they calculate the revaluation surplus or deficit? Uh, maybe no. No, okay. So what is it that you are looking for? Can you at least type here? What is the calculation that you are looking for? I may mention to check amount in SOFP. What amount are you looking for in the SOFP? In this question, we are talking about land and buildings. We got two factory, we got three new warehouses. <coughs> Miss, can we say about uh, to confirm whether valuation of the land and buildings that have been revalued have been updated uh, regularly? Regularly, they only do revaluation one year once, ma. Miss, can we say to confirm the depreciation was based on the correct amount of valuation? Okay. Review the fixed asset register related to land and buildings. Review the Review the fixed asset uh, register related to land and buildings to ensure the depreciation was calculated based on the revalue amount. Or you can actually recalculate the depreciation. Recalculate the, recalculate the 
appreciation for the length and for the revalue revalue for the revalue uh, length and building to ensure the to ensure the depreciation was recalculated based on the revalue amount. Okay. Miss, hmm? uh, can I ask if is that we need to write the depreciation charge for the six month? The new no, need la. That yeah. is accounting paper. Okay. But generally, accounting ah, they also follow full year depreciation, right? So we just write the answer like what I mean. It's just general thing. because the question didn't exactly like tell what is the. Because some company their policy is charge full year depreciation in the year of purchase, in the year of disposal there is no depreciation. Some company they charge they don't charge depreciation in the year of purchase but they fully charge in the year of disposal. When it comes to revaluation also different company it depends on the company policy. Okay. Okay, Miss. Hmm. So this is sufficient. Next. So this is what you have meant. So calculate by reviewing the list of all PP revalued during the year to ensure PPE agree the revaluation amount. So what are you trying to do here? What are you trying to calculate? Guys, can you hear me? So what is your calculation about? Is it, it wouldn't be the same? Uh, oh, we can hear you. I Sorry? think this one is the same as the previous one. But previous one was depreciation. Uh, yeah, I mean the original, original content. Original content? Same as the original content, which is the wrong one. Yeah, but what are you trying to calculate? For example, for selected sample of revalued land and buildings, recalculate the revaluation surplus. Revalue, recalculate the revaluation surplus and and review the journal. Entry to ensure the uh, to ensure the surplus was posted in the correct in the correct account with the correct amount. You can also calculate right. Because so you mentioned recalculate, review the list of all revalued during the year, ensure accuracy, PP, and agree the revaluation amount is in SOFT. So it is what you are trying to do. You are actually trying to calculate the revaluation surplus or deficit. Hmm? Yes. Yeah. Uh, miss. Hmm. If like that, right? Uh, how about we just write a review, or the what, uh, the fair value reports or the recent transaction price, to confirm the amount and then subsequently okay. confirm the revaluation surplus. And why not for selected sample of revalued land and buildings from the fixed asset register? Agree to the revaluation. Revaluation 
very hot to ensure the correct amount has been recorded in the fixed register. Is this what you're trying to say? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. You can write this. What else? Any other thing? Anybody got any procedure you want? You don't know how to write. You can tell me. Then I can try to figure out and write for you. Miss, how to write the presentation assertion uh, for the procedures? Presentation for procedures? Yeah. What procedure? Uh, substantive procedures. For? The presentation assertion. Presentation, okay. Review the notes to the accounts in relation to the land and building and and building to ensure the disclosure was made as per the requirement of IAS 16 Okay. Is this what you are asking for? Yes. So you have KJ's and Gran Berha, right? So you put KJ's name in between or you put land and building also fine. So as long as somehow that is related, then it should be okay. 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 Next is question three. So let's look at another sample. So have you done this or not? Hello, you are supposed to answer that so that I can check. Whose answer is this? Or else if anybody want to try, you copy paste, then you fill in this, all this information. And then I will check whether uh, your search is correct or not. So here for trade receivables, okay. So you don't have for the other. Okay, next is trade receivables. So the receivables here and just change to 21. We have receivables, so six substantive procedures for receivables. Okay, sorry. So trace the sample of goods delivery note to the sales invoice and to the trade uh, to the receivables. We must use the word trade. You know why? Because the question already said it is trade receivable, trade in nature. Okay, trade receivable schedule to ensure sales transaction recorded completely in the receivable listing. Receivable schedule. Huh? Okay, review the adequacy of the allowance for the full debt through discussion with management to ensure accuracy of the trade receivables. Mufasa, trade receivables of Mufasa. Of Mufasa that could be recovered. Okay, Google the name on the trade receivables to look for their legal evidence. Okay, you see, ah, uh, this procedure quite a number of your just now also. See, when you actually Google for the company name in Google. For us, what we mean by existence is if the company actually exists, the balance should be recoverable. For trade receivables, the existence concept is different than the asset. Here, existence means it is not fictitious and it is recoverable. So, for auditor, we are not interested whether the company really operating or not. What we want to know is 
whether the balance is recoverable. So how to know balance recoverable, we will send confirmation. So when the company actually replied, that means in another meaning, the company exists. Lah. Whether they will pay or not, that is secondary story. Okay, so in this case, this procedure, this is not how you should write. Send confirmation to all trade receivables above to identify the accuracy. Uh, you are not sending confirmation for transaction. Uh, you are looking at the balance outstanding. Send confirmation to all the trade receivables above to confirm the balance outstanding by them as at the year end is accurate okay we want to make sure that whatever balance that owing by the customer is same as what we have recorded in our trade receivable signature perform detailed cutoff testing on sample of sales invoice your cutoff testing is on goods delivery note not sales invoice Sample on goods delivery note prior to the year end and post year end and inspect the dates of goods delivery note to ensure cutoff is accurate. How is it relevant to trade receivables? How is this procedure relevant to trade receivables? I only see sales. Sales is OPL. Sorry? Miss, I... I... Uh, copy from your notes one no? hey I remember I told you right the notes in the lecture notes is general you don't come back to me and say you copy here copy there is this question is from your lecture notes no no, no. Ah, and this question is straight receivable straight receivable is SOFP Sales is SOPL. So you Mish. perform. Hmm? So uh, one question to ask you. Uh, so yeah. the cutoff cut off is only for SOPL, right? SOFP. SOFP also can. Both. Uh, both also can actually. SOFP also can. SOPL also can. Okay. But when you are writing, the way you wrote your procedure here, you are reflecting on SOPL item. There is no trade receivables in your answer. How to give marks? Hmm. So we need to ch change the, the documents, is it? No, you just need to add in some words. Perform detailed cutoff testing on sample of say on sales sample of goods delivery note prior to the year end and post year end and trace and trace uh, to the and trace the dates to the to the year end trade receivables to ensure the sales was recorded in the correct accounting period. Can follow? Yes, sir. Can follow. Next inquiry, the management as to whether the company has close relationship with the trade receivables or not. Of course, the company will say no trade receiver, no relationship to ensure credibility. As an auditor, our work to see whether balance recoverable or not. Credibility testing is the work of the accountant. We don't check credibility. As an auditor, I want to make sure that when you mention trade receivables is 1 million in the SOFP, as an auditor, I want to check whether the 1 million is recoverable or not. If out of that 1 million, only 700 recoverable, the auditor will tell accountant right off the 300. So change the 1 million to 700. Okay. So in this case, whether likely bad debts, no. So in this case, if you want, you need to look at the trade receivables agent. Okay. So what you can do is inspect or review. 
review the trade receivables aging for long outstanding debtors or debt balances and discuss with the accountant whether the balance is recoverable. Okay. So this is the right procedure compared to here. See, when you're writing substantive procedure, instead of inquire, you can also use discuss. But when you're writing the auditing technique, you must copy the definition as per the lecture notes. Okay? Okay, trade payables, I will leave it for next week discussion. Okay, let's look at this question now, uh, the another set of answer. Next time, to be more efficient, why don't you guys combine and give the copy to all your classmates because different students will take different notes according to their level of understanding. Okay, external confirmation, you no need to write definition. Definition is not required at all. See, if it's like one mark or two mark per procedure and when you end up, your first sentence is not relevant, I'm not going to read the second sentence. The so question says, design six substantive procedure. I never asked for definition. This communication, this is, no, inspection, all this not relevant. This is the definition. I want substantive procedures. This is definition. You see, you go and write test about bank reconciliation. This is trade receivables. Enquire, um, what is your procedure? This is also no. Analytical procedure, no. Trade receivables to report general, this is not procedure. The auditor will ask for period and trade receivables anything before. This is not a procedure. Trace grant total to the account no. You see, uh, you may say this is something that you are checking, but in my opinion, no. Because when you key in debit, trade receivables, Ali Central Berhad, credit sales, the system will automatically post the debit entry into trade receivables ledger and general ledger, and also into the trade receivables under SOFP. So basically, the system is interconnected. So if you are writing, checking the general ledger to this, nowadays it doesn't work like that. 15 years ago, when I was working, the trade uh, the ledger is not linked to the SOFP and SOPF. So the accounting system is only for you to key in debit credit entry. When it comes to SOFP, SOPL, the accountant have to extract the figures Basically, the system will generate trial balance. It will not generate SOFP, SOPL. So, accountant will need to create an Excel and put which will go under non-current asset, which is current asset. So, in 15 years ago, if you give this answer, of course, you will get marks. Nowadays, no. Okay? Hey, don't catch I'm checking. Huh? Next, calculate the receivable report total. The auditor will add up invoices on the accounts receipt. You see, the invoices, when you key in the invoice, the system will calculate the figures for you. So this procedure is not relevant nowadays. That's why I say, when you are writing procedure, try to write procedure where auditor need to do something. Adding up plus minus all these, this ledger accounting, uh, receivable staging, all this the computer system will do. You no need to do anything. You just extract out, do your necessary audit procedure will do.
Okay, anybody got any other question? Okay, let's look at the assertion. Or anybody have prepared your answer differently? You want me to check? Feel free. Okay, let me look. Assertion. Is assertion ready? Anybody want to try? You don't try, you will not get the answer. I'm telling you, it's a 10 marks for your coursework test. Easy 10 marks. Just copy. That's it. If you Please put it, already updated the answer. Where? This one, the current. Here? Oh, yes. Okay, all non-current assets that have been recorded in KJ as the purchase ledger. Why is non-current asset record in the purchase ledger? What is the item that we are talking about? Non-current asset. No. Uh, land and building. Mm. So we need to specify about that. Lah. Yes, of course. That's why I created the question in such a way. Okay. KJ has rights control over land and building recorded in the PP asset. Okay. All non current asset that should have been recorded have been recorded. All should be included in KJ syndrome. The heart have been recorded. You see, this is again general. Okay. All non current asset have been included in the KJ financial statement at appropriate amount. Any resulting valuation allocation. See all this, all non current asset in the PPE ledger. I thought account item non current asset. No, the question is telling you clearly. Okay, all land and buildings that has been recorded in KJ Syndrome Bahar, we edit quickly. Okay, anybody has written answer? You want me to check? So basically this format is more friendlier, right? So all the FS item here refers to all the land and buildings that has been recorded land land and oh yeah, land and buildings that has been recorded in company name KJ Sandarian Berhats KJ Sandarian Berhats PPE Ledger. PPE ledger, which is the year end, which is the year end, 31st June 2021. You edit the year, recorded as at 31st June 2021, exists and is in good condition. So here is K. Okay, KJ Sandarian Berhad here has the rights and control over the this is over the land and building recorded in the PPE ledger as at the 1st December all the <coughs> all the land and building all these refer to the land and building all land and building 
you just fill in the blank. So what you do is, I already paste this into the Google Classroom. So when you get your coursework test paper and the script, you copy paste and then you just fill in the blanks. Okay. That much can you all do? Is it too much? Am I demanding too much from you guys? Uh, no, no miss. Ah. So this is IAS X16 PPE. So name of nature is PPE nature. So have you filled in the blanks? Okay, let's read. All the land and building that has been recorded in KJ PP has had this exists and is in good condition. KJ Sinan Berhad has rights and control over land and building recorded in the PP nature. All land and building that should have been recorded have been recorded and all related disclosures should have been included in KJ financial statement have been included. KJ financial statement as at uh, 31st June 2021. So completeness, I need to do some editing. Where is the lecture notes? So for edit, all the that should have been recorded, have been recorded, included in the uh, it was financial statement year and financial statement year and after the financial statement year and after the financial financial statement as at as at statement as at the papers have been included. Okay, all land and buildings have been included in KJ financial statement at approved KJ's financial statement. At appropriate amount, any resulting valuation will have been appropriate and have been measured and described. Land and building in KJ's and Grand Berhad financial statement as at the first June 2021. After financial statement, we need to add it back. Add it. Hello. Hello. Take care of it, Buddha. Okay, uh, sorry, uh. so where was we? Uh? Where am I supposed to uh, supposed to put it? Ah, uh, uh, okay. Okay, wait, uh, where was he? Accuracy, right? Accuracy company's financial statement as at the year, uh, as at the tippers. It have been included. Let's see uh, whether it matches. All land and buildings have been included in KJ's financial statement as at the tippers at appropriate amount and any resulting blah 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 record measures. All land and building of KJ have been uh, all land and buildings of KJ. Uh, all land and buildings of KJ and Darren Berhad have been recorded in the proper accounts, which is PP Ledger. Land and buildings, okay. All land and buildings of KJ Darren Berhad are properly disaggregated, clearly described, and rated disclosure relevant, understandable in the form. Okay. Okay. KJ as at the first June twenty twenty one. So presentation all land and buildings of KJ again as at. So to make it like everything is inside there, you know. All land and buildings of KJ. So all. All land and buildings of KJ as at as at mm -hmm. as at 
Let's add here and continue. So is this the only assertion? Only six? Okay, since this is what you guys gave me. Okay, anybody got any question? Are you guys clear? Clear. Mm. Okay, nice. Any question? Anybody give some answer you want me to check? So this answer here, you can actually refer to here. These students have actually written the answer and I have actually corrected the answer. So that's why I don't want to double type the same answer. And the problem here is definition. You know, not in real course for final exam, majority of the students will write like this only. They will write the definition, they will not write the substantive procedure. So this is where students easily fail because you did not read the requirement carefully. Even in lecture also, I actually told you, right, the difference. Even this morning, I highlighted to you the difference between techniques to obtain evidence and substantive procedure. You see, I really went through already. So you should be able to score minimum 45 over, uh, over 60. You know why? Because your coursework assignment, uh, assignment usually uh, students won't get high mark. So that's why you must score in your in your test so that you will be able to pass the overall assessment. Okay, so please read your name and I'll mark your attendance. I don't see. Chan Sing Hui. Chan Jing Hui. Divya. Fong Jun Ming. Hao Zhen Yan. Ivy. Kun Zian. Li Jian Pin. Li Jing Xian. Li Sok Man. Li Wei Rong. Liu Xiang Yuan. Lim Zi Hong. Muhammad Nabil. Ng Chi Ping. Ravina Devi. Selva Shilin. Shim Jian Hong. Durga Shini. 